guys. Oh, welcome back to Kim's Toy Box. I'm super excited you're here today. I hope you're having an awesome day. I definitely am because we've got some really cool surprise toys to check out together. I got a couple of new items today. We're going to check out a hairdos here from Wave 2. Check it out. I got a smushy, mushy tin collector box. You guys know I love opening them. I've opened all different kinds. I actually have a Pick Me Pops one to check out together with you as well. And then we're going to look at this new, um, uh, from the new show, Disney Junior Tots. It's not that new, but it's new to me since Cam Cam and Rai Rai were really young. It's one of the newer shows. Anyway, I found this really cool thing here. It's called the Surprise Nursery Baby. It's got seven different pieces, including awesome color change diapers. We've also got a couple of LOL surprises. We're going to first start off with our hair goals from the Makeover series. Then I've got another LOL surprise, Glitter Globe from the new Winter Disco series, which I'm super excited about. This one has 15 different surprises to open. Underneath this second layer here, we have our secret message. We've got an up arrow with a little uh, rope tied in a knot, and it stands for top knot. We also have our user manual. we got some awesome little hair stickers here. Let's pop off our lid. Our first blind bag is hiding underneath. Pop off the nozzle. We can get the rest of them out of there. Got an awful lot of blind bags inside of this one. I almost feel like we got some extras. Inside of our first one, we get the handle to our capsule, plus our little display stand here. Pop that into there. Oh, something tiny in here. It's on this side. Oh, we got an orange pacifier. We've got a pair of shoes, little pink ones with a blue little pom-pom on the front. And our next one, what do we have here? Oh, I know what we have. We got an awesome fanny pack. And check out those beautiful rainbow colors. Whoa, and we got some wings. Look how beautiful these are. They're kind of like a crystal in a very light lavender or light purple color. Has the little things on here to strap on. These are super pretty. They have like silver glitter in there. Oh, and here is our doll's outfit. Okay, this is like kind of plain, but we have a pink skirt with lots of glitter in there and then a yellow top with the same glitter. So pop open our doors. Out first comes our collector's checklist. Here is our doll, of course, under wraps. We got our two mini curlers to open still. Let's check out what's inside of these. And the first one is our comb, of course. We got a pretty blue one here. And of course, next is our doll's drink cup. I like it. It's like a very bright green color. Has lots of glitter inside, just like the outfit. Again, kind of like crystal. It's really pretty. All right, guys, do you know who's inside? Maybe the rainbow on the fanny pack gave it away. This is an awesome doll, one of my favorites in the series because she has the most awesome hair. <laughs> Check this hair out. Oh my goodness. She's got rainbows right inside of her two ponytails because this, guys, is the beautiful rainbow raver. Her hair's a little crooked. <laughs> Check it out. I don't know why it's, it's going down like that. All right, I've got to fix her hair and make her super pretty. Let's take off the rest of her wrap here. Aw, oh, look at the outfit she's got underneath. I love it. Beautiful rainbow top, a beautiful rainbow bottom, and check out those awesome knee-high socks. So check out how beautiful her hair is. It's super, super long. It's really, really shiny. And those rainbow pieces are actually all little braids, just like the two strands that hang in the front. How gorgeous is that, right? Super, super pretty hair. And the best part about this doll, guys, is that she is a fancy doll. We find her in the Electro Club, and there she is, Rainbow Raver with the yellow star. She is super, super cool. Rainbow Raver is a color-changing doll, so I have a bowl of warm water and cold water. Let's check out the hot water first, see if we get any kind of color change. Nope, I don't really see anything happening with our hot water, so let's get that icy cold water. Super excited. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. So she gets like a black um, t-shirt and black leggings, or I guess black tights underneath her socks. I really love the contrast with the dark and the light with the rainbow colors. Super, super cool. Here she is in her beautiful outfit. Lots of different colors going on here, just like you would find in a rainbow. And check out those wings. I think those are the most fabulous accessories ever. 
Next up, we have an Orbeez Wow World Wowza Surprise from Series 3, and this one's called the Polar Magic Series. We've got a beautiful, like, icy blue colored snow globe here. We've got all of our awesome Orbeez inside, and what we have to do is add water in here to watch a magical creature appear. It's so cool. On the bottom of our globe, we find our instructions. We also get the little uh, collector's checklist. And you get this little key, which we're going to use to turn our character so we can take a look at it in like a 360 view. And you also use it to remove from the cup. First thing we have to do is spin off the top. There's a seal here. You have to remove that seal, of course. Now you replace the lid. There's a little tab here that you can remove. This is where we pour the water in. So you take that off. I'm going to face it this way. And we're going to fill it up with some water here. i got some bottled water. Okay, I'm going to hold it nice and close to the camera. Slowly pour our water in. Oh my gosh, I love it because it makes it so crystal clear. Look at that. You can see the character appearing right through the glass. Or should I say the plastic in this case. <gasps> Look at the size of the tail on this one. So, so super cute. All right, so in order to get it out, you got to take that little pin replace it on the top like so and then you can twist it back off these are so cool oh my gosh oh and you can spin it around in there too i can't forget to show you that you can see the whole view of your character and then you pour oh look what happened all right take two oh, pull it out and there is your character so cute it looks like it's under a little umbrella you can just pull it off oh i lost the marby there and check out our character. Super cute, really, really mystical. This one looks like a cat though, doesn't it? It even has what looks like little, um, like a leopard print down the front of its face and even on its little paws. So there is a, a super rare and a rare one you can collect. And unfortunately, this is not it. Let's see which one we got here today. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. And the cool part about these is that they're going to color change. Nope, this one doesn't have antennas. We got a tundra right here. And it says here, tundra is very attentive and aware of what's trendy. So we need some ice cold water to try to get a color change to happen here. I got the one that we used for our LOL surprise. Oh, look at that, so pretty. It gets like a really super, super darker color and like a beautiful purple. Oh, I really like that. I think I like it better this color than the lighter color. Let's check out our first collectible tin box here. It is from Pick Me Pops. These are so super cute. Each one contains two magnets, two puppy stickers, one charm, and a mini poster. So they're really packed with super cool surprises. And I just love, love, love these cans. I find these in Target, guys, and they have so many different, um, different brands, all sorts of cool, cool stuff. They even have uh, LOL Surprise. They've got Pick Me Pops, Paw Patrol. I've opened Trolls. I've opened all your favorites. You name it, I've probably opened it. So check out our posty here. Look how beautiful. My spirit animal. We have the matching unicorn that we had found on the lid. Next up we have our puppy stickers. And we get two of these. And again we match the theme on the top of the box. Let's go chase some rainbows. Oh you and Rainbow Raver could hang out. You probably got lots in common. Aw and look you're a possum. We also get two magnet cards, and these are super, super nice as well. Look how beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Super bright, super colorful. They'll look super pretty, like hanging on your refrigerator or on your dishwasher. Look, we got the little sheep and a super yummy lollipop. That leaves us with our awesome keychain. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Look how beautiful that is, right? Beautiful detail in these, absolutely gorgeous color. They're kind of a rubber material. They're super bendable, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. We got the Pick Me symbol on the back, and this one comes on a hot pink keychain. It'll look fabulous on your backpack. Let's check out our hair dudes next. And I'm really, really excited because even though this is wave two of these super cool little hairdos, this is my first one ever. I don't know how I miss these because it's so super cool looking. So it says here they got fruity scent. We're going to spin to reveal, which I think is something to do with the packaging. We have all oh, 24 different ones to collect. And check this out. 
It says, find the rare color change hair. You guys know how much I love a color change. Oh, look, these are from Bullseye Toy. I didn't even realize that. That's the same company that makes my tin collector boxes that I love so much. Inside of here, we have one hairdo's doll, the bottle capsule you get, a styling chair, a suction cup, a hairdresser's cape, and a collector's guide. All right, wish me luck with this. Let's see if I don't fumble through this one too much. Nice hair strip there. I'm already loving that. All right, so we got a, a pink bottle here. It says hairdos on the front, hairdos on the back, and I think I see, oh, I think I opened it. <laughs> okay, so I see how to open it now. Oh, here's our collector's guide and instructions. I probably should read those. Let's see if I can just go through it without reading it. What do you think? Should we take a peek at the collector's checklist first? Let's take a look at it. So we have, oh, check this out. How come it won't open? There's tape on here. There we go. Oh, all right, so we have a lot of different categories here. They all look super cute. Oh, okay, so we have wave one here on the top. So that must be these two dolls. And then wave two on the bottom. Here is the color change rare one. Her name is Twin Brady Dew. That's super, super cute. We have a pixie category, a sparkle, a crystal, a lily, a sky, and a candy. These look so adorable. Okay, I'm going right into it, guys. Let's give a spin. Whoa. <laughs> ah, did you see that? You know what this reminds me of, guys? Because, you know, I have to go to the hair salon kind of often. This looks like one of those super cool hair dryers that you sit under that, like, dry your hair, and it's, like, really, really hot, and it blows on you. That looks super cool. Look at the amount of green on this doll. <gasps> She's super cute. And you know what? This hair is really, really soft. She's got beautiful green eyes. And check it out. I see little... um flowers on her face there's even little flowers like reflected in her uh in her eyes there all right how do i get this out i think i see tape all right let me get my scissor i don't want to just force it because i'm not quite sure what i'm doing with these oh my gosh all right do i just pull now let's see oh there we go okay she's out yay <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so I got some more packaging here. It looks like a little, oh, look how cute this is. It's a little like hair styling chair. That is super adorable. And I guess this is her little cape. Can I take her out of here? Oh, okay, so that pops off. This is like a little display stand. Look how cute this is. It has like hair dryers on it, little pairs of scissors, a whole bunch of different super cool styling tools. All right, so we have to take off her cape, I'm assuming. Let's see. Aw, and look at her, check it out. She's sitting in there with her legs crossed. Her hand is up like this. And oh my gosh, more packaging. But look, all their packaging has tear strips. This is fabulous. I love a good tear strip. That was super easy. Oh, okay, so it looks like she comes out of her st uh, styling chair, which is super cool. Look how beautiful she is, guys. Super pretty in pink and green. Okay, so I was looking through the collector's checklist, and I don't think it's a coincidence that she's almost all in green and green accessories, and then I found her in this category called Lily, which also happens to be the name of a flower, which is on her face, and it's also up here. So I think that's how you identify kind of quickly which category they're from. That is super, super clever. So here she is. We got cl uh, Classy Bondu. I think she does look quite classy and actually quite, quite glamorous. On the back, it shows all the directions, which I could have read, but actually I got through it pretty quickly and easily. So you spin to reveal, you remove the hair cover, which we did, then you remove her cape, which we did. Step four, take your hairdo and suction cup stand out, and you can switch, apparently, between these. Where's the suction cup? That's what I'm missing. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, so we can put the chair on the suction cup. Is that what I'm understanding? Let's check this out. Work with me here, guys. Yep. Oh, look at that. How cute is this? And then you can plop her in there and you can suction cup her. I love that. That is so cute, guys. So you got a couple of different ways of, um, oh, that really suctions. Oh, <laughs> a couple of different ways of displaying your doll. Then I guess you can put this into 
this display stand. Oh, this is so awesome. The only thing I wish at this point right now is that maybe, just maybe guys over at Bullseye Toy, that she came with a, like at least one styling tool so we can pretend to like blow dry her. She's sitting in this awesome chair. She's got this gorgeous cape. Wouldn't it be super cool if we could at least, um, you know, comb her hair maybe with like a little comb like we get in the, um, LOLs or in the hair adorables, but we can just borrow from one of our other dolls. We certainly got plenty to go around. Really, really adorable, guys. I definitely want to get more of these. I just noticed here that you can also display her inside of the bottle, which I think is awesome because I love any time that you can store your dolls or store your stuff. You could probably... You, I'm sure you can. You can fit literally everything back in here and keep all your accessories like safe and all together so you don't lose them. How cool is that? Okay, definitely, definitely getting more of these dolls. Next, we'll check out our cotton candy cutie here from the awesome Zuru company. We get scented, fluffy, stretchy slime that smells absolutely amazing, by the way. And then you also get inside a uh, cutie, which is basically a little foam squishy. Six different ones to collect, and they are all absolutely adorable. So everything comes sealed in an airtight pouch here. It keeps our slime nice and fresh. Okay, and on this most recent release of these uh, Cotton Candy Cuties, they've added glitter to the slime, which is a super awesome addition. Pull it out, and wrapped inside of our slime, check this stuff out, is a blind bag, which I think is awesome, because you know I love blind bags so much. Check out our slime. This one happens to smell just like lemonade. It smells amazing, and it looks just like super awesome cloud slime. It all breaks apart, but then it goes right back together, and it's like just super fun and like really moldable. You can mold it into shapes, or just like, I don't know, just play with it and squeeze it. And again, I love packaging that is uh, useful, that you don't just like toss into the garbage and fill up the landfills. Check it out. It seals again, and you can keep your slime in there nice and protected and safe. But let's check out which cutie we got. And again, more packaging, like a little blind capsule here. And again, you can use this to store our cutie in. Aw, it looks like a bunny. That is super, super cute. They've also kind of upgraded the squishies. When I opened these several months ago, maybe even longer than that, they had the first line of these. And they were really, really nice. But I don't know. They've gotten better with the squishies. They're super soft. They're slow rising. And they smell really, really good. So let's open up our Disney Junior Tots Surprise Nursery Babies. Tots stands for a Tiny Ones Transport Service, which is super cute. And that's what I think this is. It almost looks like the little package, like the stork drops off. So these look really cute. We got color change diapers. These are from Just Play. And it says here, which baby will you get with seven different surprises inside, which look like all different little accessories. Peel here, we got another tear strip. Let's see how well it works. Oh, that's a good one. All right, so we got a gold wrap stork drop here. Super cute, little heart on it. Let's see how to open this. Do I squeeze? There we go. Oh, whoa, look at the inside. This is so cool. So we got it sealed on the top and a seal on the bottom. I think I'm gonna start with the bottom here. Is there a little tabby pull? There is. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. I do. Whoa, okay, so it looks like we got probably a collector's checklist here. Let's take a quick look at that. Yep, okay, so we got 13 to collect in series one. There is a rare glitter baby, guys, and the rare glitter baby is Pam. Here's all the other different characters to collect, and I'm already getting excited. Oh, whoa, awesome. We've got the line bags. Look how super cute, little patterned bags here. Do we have a tear strip? No, no tear strip. All right, I'll just bust into them. Now, it feels like there's actually several. Oh, look how cute this is, guys. This is adorable. We got like little building blocks for our baby to play with. Numbers and symbols. There's um, different shapes on there. This is so cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, super cool. A bib, because every baby has to have a bib. And a little paw um, brush, or maybe like a little scrubber here for taking a bath. Okay, so I'm assuming our pet is probably hiding under here because this feels like definitely more accessories. Ooh, we get lots of stuff in this one. 
That's two. There's actually one more. Aw, look, guys. It's a little baby rattle. That is super cute. A little star on the handle. A baby bottle, because, of course, we have to feed our baby. And then, okay, I'm going to assume that this is like a little um, shampoo bottle, a little baby wash bottle. Absolutely adorable. Again, with a little star on it. These are adorable. Pull this back. Awesome. I was hoping for another blind bag. I didn't know whether we should expect the uh, baby to just be in there or not. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. This is so exciting. Okay, so much smaller than I anticipated. I thought they were going to be a little bit larger. Look how cute. <gasps> Look at the ears on this pet. How adorable. A little collar with a pink um, uh, tag on there. This has got to be a monkey, right? With the size of those ears. Oh, definitely. With a little hair like that. Super cute. It's wearing a little diaper. And I'm assuming that this is going to color change. i got to get in and see if there's directions here. Probably, again, with cold water, like all of our color changing toys. And, guys, you know what? I wasn't expecting this, but it's super fuzzy. And this is super, super, super soft. Okay, right, so we opened Marty today. I am so not familiar with this show, but this is so cute that I may have to put it on. And you know what? Maybe Cam Cam and Ryan will actually watch it. I think I'm going to enjoy it. These look so adorable. All right, so on the back here, it tells us the color change is done with icy cold water. Hopefully, it didn't get too warm. We're going to use the same bowl I've been using throughout the video. And it says not to leave your baby in here too long because it'll ruin the, their fuzz. So don't take these into the bath with you or anything. All right, into the icy cold water. Nope, I need to make it a little bit colder. I've added some ice cubes. Let's try that one more time. Oh, okay, so you really, really need icy cold water. Don't try to get away with some uh, plain cold tap water. And check it out. We get a green diaper on Marty. That is absolutely awesome. And guys, once again, you can reuse the packaging to keep all your accessories together with your baby. How cool is that? This way it all stays together and you don't lose any items and you don't throw this in the garbage. All right, it's finally time to check out our Smushy Mushy Besties mystery box here. We get inside a Besties figure, so we're going to get another Squishy. You get another mini poster, we get two magnets, and this time there are four stickers included in this box. We only got two with the Pick Me Pop one. Again, a beautiful collectible can. I just love it because you can store all your stuff inside. Let's check out our poster first. See if it's as big as our Pick Me Pop one. I think it's going to be. Oh, look at this one. It's like a whole scene. That is so cool. It looks like we're in the food factory and they're making some delicious looking besties. Oh, I wonder which one we got. All right, looks like a magnet card. Was there only one magnet card? I forgot what it said. We get, oh, two magnets. It's on one card. So do you think this is the one that we got? That's looking super delicious. And here it says bestest bestie. I love it. Next up is our sticker sheet with four stickers on there. I love my bestie, but look, we got two different ones here. So it's still a mystery as to which bestie we're going to get. And look how cute this is. 100% smushy. I see something on the bottom. It's upside down. Which one did we get? Oh, yummy, delicious. It's like, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> A pastry cake. To me, it looks like a delicious Pop-Tart. Look at the filling inside. Probably a strawberry with that beautiful pink icing. Super, super cute. Aw, and incredibly smushy and super, super squishy. This one's adorable. It's like a little finger squishy. So many cool surprises today, but we still got one more with our LOL Surprise Glitter Globe from the Winter Disco Series. This globe has eight different surprises for us to check out together. Under our first layer is our secret message. Now, I really just started uh, opening these, so I'm not familiar with all of the messages yet. So we have a little girl. She's tapping her foot, doing like a little dance, I guess. Plus some bells. I'm going to say jingle bells. I don't know. Jingle all the way. Dance and jingle. Party like a jingle. Oh, grooving to the jingle bells. That makes sense. So cool. Awesome tear strips on these. I'm loving it. And we get this really cool glitter ball, guys. Check it out. It kind of looks like, I don't even know. Kind of looks like a gem on the front to me. But I think it's supposed to look like a disco ball with all like the reflective um, like layers and cuts. On the back, we have some real glitter inside of there. Look how pretty that looks because it's going to turn into an awesome snow globe. Let's pop this open. And we have some tissue paper in here. 
We have all of our blind bags, our user manual, which is super thick, a lot going on in this series. Beautiful blind bags in pink and white. We get our uh, collector's checklist. We get a stand for our snow globe, and of course for our doll. And I think this one has our doll in it. We'll save that one for last. Let's get into our first blind bag. Can't wait, I get so excited. Oh, look how beautiful we get like, um, I think I'm cotton candy here. It's got a little uh, handle on it so our doll can hold it. Really pretty. I think it's cotton candy, right? Yeah, that's gotta be cotton candy. Looks like a very beautiful pink swirl flavor. Up oh, and next up is our doll's drink bottle. We have a clear bottle here. It has some pink glitter on the um, bottom of it and then lots of pink glitter on the top. Oh, oh here is the little stand. We're gonna use that to display our doll. I think this might be shoes. And yeah, check them out. Look at that beautiful green. It's like a Kelly green. Super, super bright. Lots of glitter on there and little pink pom poms. And oh my gosh, here is our doll's outfit. Look how cool this outfit is. It's like those candies that you get around the holidays. Um, I don't even remember what they taste like. I don't think I was ever allowed to eat any of them, to be honest with you. But I can remember seeing them at my neighbor's house and I always wanted them. They were super cool. They had those beautiful stripes. Really, really beautiful. We got lots of glitter here on the bottom and a nice glitter collar as well. Time to reveal our doll. So cool. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, I love it. Look at the uh, bubble. <laughs> that is so cute. I think it's absolutely adorable. Even better than the little pacifiers. And you can take it in and out, of course, as well. Because, you know, we had to give her a drink so we can check out all of that beautiful glitter inside of our hair. Because our hair also looks like a snow globe. Check out these socks, little bows on there. Totally, perfectly gift wrapped. Here is our collector's checklist, guys. From the Storybook Club, today we opened Dreamin' Baby. She's a fabulous doll for this series, and it shows here that she's going to be a spitting doll. So let's remove her beautiful bubble here. We're going to give her a drink of water with her drink bottle. I've already filled it up a little bit. Let's see how much water she needs. These are so cool, guys. So as you give her a drink, the um, top of her fills up with water. And then you can give her a shake and you can see all that beautiful glitter that's under her hair. So stinking cool. So check it out. So you can see it a lot better now. It's like all like brown and just super, super shiny and bright and glittery. And then of course it said that she's a spitting doll. So let's give her a squeeze and there she goes. She's spitting and sparkling at the same time. Look how super pretty she looks in her outfit. She's very, very festive. She's got her cotton candy. She's got her drink bottle. She's even got a little uh, gum going on already. She's totally ready to party. But let's see how we can put her inside of her globe. This thing is so cool. So you're gonna attach these two pieces together like so. I'm gonna use that little display stand. Pop it in there. You put your doll inside. Then you can cover it with the other half of the globe here. It's so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. And then if you see the top of this, there's a little tab here. You open that up and we're going to pour more water inside. And then all this glitter is going to turn into a snow globe. I'm, I do this very messy. Don't follow my lead. <laughs> Okay, so we're all filled up with water. We're going to return the tab to the top. Now you can turn it upside down and you start to see all that beautiful glitter flit around. I probably should have the doll facing the other way, but you can kind of see it front to back as well. How beautiful is that? There we get the whole disco club effect and the whole snow globe effect all at the same time. Really, really cute. I am loving this series. Oh my gosh, guys, this was so much fun, this video. I loved everything we opened today. I had a really good time opening the new, um, the Disney Junior Tots was super cute. The hairdos was adorable. I just loved everything we got today. The new smushy, mushy uh, collectible tin box was super cool. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much. Give a big thumbs up if you liked today's video. Be sure to come back. Don't forget to subscribe to see lots more toys and surprises every single day here with me on Cam's Toy Box. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.